Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm 23 and I ruined my brother's wedding and kicked out his bride. But don't think I'm psycho though. I was just a little jealous. Jimmy, that's my brother. He's the best. When we were just kids, my dad was always traveling, so Jimmy stepped up. When I started dating, Jimmy made sure all the guys treated me right. We grew up best friends, but one day Jimmy joined the Marines and moved out. He wrote letters and we stayed in touch. I graduated and started working as an architect for a big firm downtown. We zero in on the tallest buildings. One day I got a call from Jimmy and he was coming home. I was so excited. I immediately invited Jimmy to stay with me. I was living alone in a pretty large apartment so there would be plenty of room. But Jimmy said that it wouldn't be just him. He had more news. He met a woman named Luann and they were getting married. I didn't know what to say. I knew nothing about this Luann woman and suddenly she was going to be my sister-in-law. They moved in a month later. I had no idea what he saw in her, but what could I say? So I tried to accept her. The plan was for them to stay until after the wedding, so I did my best to be welcoming. But she was just so awful. She would come and go as she pleased. She was constantly at the mall doing who knows what. This one time, I caught her in Jimmy's bank account. But Jimmy was so gaga for her that he forgot completely about me. They even scheduled the wedding on the weekend of my birthday, so I figured Jimmy didn't even remember. I got home from work one day, and I heard Luann talking to some guy. But as soon as she saw me, she jumped off the phone. Busted! So the night before the dress rehearsal, my brother was out. I told Luann I had plans as well, and she would have the place to herself. I would sneak back inside when Luann thought I'd be gone. I was certain she would jump on the opportunity to call her lover when she thought she had the place to herself. I would record everything and show Jimmy in time to save him from the biggest mistake of his life. A few hours later, I was hiding in my own laundry room when I heard Luann's voice. She was on the phone with what sounded like the same guy. I hit record and heard her say she had time to meet up. And then, clear as a bell, she said, we have to keep this a secret. Finally, I had my proof. I felt so vindicated that I couldn't wait and stormed out of the laundry room to confront her. I wouldn't let her get a word out. I accused her of cheating on Jimmy and using him for his money. I announced that I had proof of her affair and I was going to show my brother, so she might as well pack her stuff. I chased her out of my place, tossing all her clothes on the ground. I called my brother. He thought it'd be nice to meet for dinner since it was my birthday. I was so touched he remembered, and already I felt things were better. But I still had to tell him about Luann before she got to him. I rushed over to meet him at this Italian spot. I told him everything. I showed him the recording, and I told him that she was in his bank accounts. Jimmy made a strange face like he wasn't sure if I was joking or not. I implored him to believe me, but then I recognized my parents in the room. What are they doing here? Then I noticed cousins and friends. And I realized it was a surprise party for me. Jimmy told me that Luann planned it all before I kicked her out. She really wanted to be here, he said, but she didn't think she'd be welcome. And I guess she was right, he said before handing me a card. It was from Luann. Happy birthday, Sandy. I'd like to explain myself. I was out shopping so much because I didn't know what to get you for your birthday. I was on the phone with men planning your party. And I was in Jimmy's bank account because I was depositing money, not taking any. I figure I'll give you what you really wanted for your birthday, your brother back. I asked Jimmy why Luann was depositing money and he told me that Luann owned her own hair product line. I had it all wrong and I felt like such a dope. The truth was, I was jealous of Luann because for so long, I was the girl that Jimmy looked after. And I thought he was going to forget about me completely. I thought I was losing a brother instead of gaining a sister. I left my own birthday party and called Luann to apologize. I begged her to come to the party. Luckily she joined and the wedding was back on. There's a proverb out there that really summarizes my story. And I bet you can guess what it is. Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more true wisdom stories.